Hi, my name is Ryan, and welcome back to Hashtag the Moon Empire today called Couples at Train. So I'm my favorite people, your training partners, Jess and Josh. Jess, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm very excited to be part of this project. It's a beautiful day. We kitted head to toe, new balance. So let's get started. And you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm ready. Let's do it. We're happy to be here. Happy to be doing this with Movement Empire and excited to work out with you guys. Amazing. This session you can do alone with a friend of the partner. Don't forget, it's designed for everyone. Let's have some fun. All right, you two, just get ready. We're going to bounce in the spot first for 30 seconds. Off you go. Easy tempo. Let's get that bouncing going. To get you warm, it's progressive. It's an easy start. At home, take your time. Don't rush through it. It's only 30 seconds. We're going to have inchworms soon. You're going to inchworm facing each other. Focus on the session for a bit. Don't look at your missus too long. Okay, we're going to inchworms face each other just now. Not just yet in 13 seconds. All right, easy tempo. In 10 more seconds, we'll be inchworms. It's a walk out into a high plank position and walk back up. All right, in five, four, three, two, and one. Down you come, inchworms onto your mats. Four out, passing each other. There we go. Into a walk out position, high plank, and walk it back. At home, don't forget, when you walk out into this position, walk into a flat high plank position. Don't sag those hips to the ground. Keep your body and abs nice and tight. It's getting your abs and body fully warm into your hamstrings. Next to be a yoga squat which is a functional squat, down, rotate through, up, and back up again. All right, we've got five more seconds. We're going to have yoga squat for 30 seconds in three, two, and one. Come back to the mat, me, please. Yoga squats, three, two, one, off you go. It's 30 seconds, arm above you. Come down into a squat, rotate through, straight leg, back up, and up. You come into a full squat. There we go. It's 30 seconds at home. It's functional. It's easy. We open up those hips, open up your legs, get into your glutes. Getting you warm for the sessions called Couple That Train Together. If you don't have a friend or partner with you, that's okay. Prepare yourself. You have training parts on camera with you. In five more seconds, it'll be a forward lunge with reach. In three, two, and one. So it's open your legs into a forward lunge. Reach back, come through, and step through. Off you go. 30 seconds, nice. Long lunge. Off you go. Long lunge, rotate the arms up, down, and step back. Functional. Open the other side. Off you go. With that lunge, don't forget your back knee goes to ground, your front knee hasn't passed your toe, weight through your heel, do not shift your weight into your toe, it's important as you're shifting that weight through your kneecap, which is not where you want to go. For a lunge, always remember, weight separates from the middle of the leg, weight through your heel, not into that toe. Beautiful. We have dirty dogs in 10 seconds, dirty dogs. At home, a dirty dog is basically in a high plank position, which you're going to arch into a pike, you're going to touch those opposite hands. In five, four, three, two, and one. On your mats, facing each other. Dirty dogs, push a position, you rotate through, opposite hands, and touch those ankles. All right, off you go. High plank, stay down there, and now just touch those opposite feet. Off you go. Other way, this way, there, and there, and back. Beautiful, other side. There we go, beautiful. This is 30 seconds, it's functional. We now get into a pike position. Open up your shoulders, your abs, your back. Fully functional, getting you warm. You have 15 seconds left. 15 seconds left, you'll get a break. All right, a recovery for 45 seconds. You're nearly there. 10 more seconds, lovely. Well done, you two. <laughs> keep moving, keep breathing. You're gonna have five, four, three, two, and one. All right, brilliant, you two at home, 45 second rest. Prepare for the work ahead. We're gonna have walkout push up first for 60 seconds, right? So you're gonna start either side of your mat, so you're gonna walk out toward each other, do a push up, walk back. So essentially, it's like an inchworm with a push up this time. Okay, you can do push up on your knees. You'll start fully up. Once you get tired, you'll put those knees down, you can. All right, we're going to have three rounds at home, three rounds. Don't forget to walk out, push up into that push up, get you nice and warm. We have 20 seconds to go. I'm not going to rush these warm ups or the cool downs or anything in between. It's part of your process to get you warm. And in between each set, the rest is an interval break in between. All right, get ready, you two, in five, four, three, Two and one. Walk out into the push up. When you get down to a flat body, just knees go down. So push up, beautiful. Up you come, walk it back. At home, remember for a push up in any way, if you aren't ready for a, pull, a full push up, that's okay. You put those knees down, get into that full range, tuck those elbows, drive it through. The push up is a multifunctional strength builder. I firmly believe I love a push up. Yeah, it's a walk up push up. You're walking to the shoulders. So much happening here. All right. Brilliant, you two. Lovely. Slow control tempo. It is 60 seconds which means there's endurance to it. It's not a race, all right? It's a slow journey, so take your time, pace yourself. There are three rounds to get through. You have 20 seconds left, you two. 20 seconds. The smiles are there, they know what's coming, all right? Next will be a squat into a squat jump. Perfect, 10 more seconds. At home, 10 more seconds, pace yourself. It is round one, don't go out those blocks too soon. 
get a feel for that work rate. In three, two, and one. Come to the back, we're gonna do one squat into a squat jump. Okay, nice soft landing, and off you go. Okay, 30 seconds, squat, and down to a squat jump. Pace yourself, beautiful, there we go. At home, when you are jumping and landing, please remember it's a soft landing, all right? Gentle and protect those joints. You have 15 seconds left. Pace yourself. Next will be a squat hold calf raise. I'm gonna get you two to face each other then. Not just yet. Keep moving, keep breathing. Oh, just lost his balance already. He's already got wobbly legs. The session's just started. In five, four, three, two, and one. All right, you two face each other. You're gonna face each other, hold those hands. You're gonna do calf raises, okay? Off you go into a squat hold. And off you go, 30 seconds. Stay down, just pulse those calves. There we go, up and down, beautiful, there we go. At home, if you're by yourself, that's okay. You get into a nice, beautiful squat hold and just pulse small to those calves. We're getting a nice, deep burn. If you have a friend or a partner with you, it's okay. As you can see, Josh is using Jess as a leverage to hold on to, which is amazing. All right, we have a high plank. Not just yet, you're almost there in five, four, three, Two and two, you'll match you two, get into a high plank, push up position, you're gonna just tap alternating hands. All right, so only 30 seconds, you're gonna get a rest after this, so come into a push up position, and then tap those opposite hands. In three, two, one, off you go. There we go, beautiful. At home, if you are by yourself, it's okay, all my is nice, beautiful, long reach in front of you, just extend that shoulder, open up the back, it's only 30 seconds, you will get a rest after this, pace yourself. There we go, love you two. You've got 15 seconds to go at home, you've got 15 seconds, you will get a rest next for 45 seconds where you can pace yourself and catch your breath, have some water, slow it down. Those recovery periods are very, very important. All right, so catch your breath and slow it down. You're nearly there, not just yet. You've got 10 more seconds, 10 more seconds. Keep moving, keep breathing. The important part is do not dip those hips towards the ground. Slow control tempo, tap those hands. You're nearly there for five, four, three, two, and one. Catch your breath, beautiful you two. That's round one, how do you feel? <laughs> okay, Josh not saying much. He's an actor, doesn't need so much. His face tells me what I need to know, so that's not a problem. We're gonna catch our breath. It's 45 seconds to recover. Let's slow it down, you two, right? You've got 35 seconds left. Come up, have some water if you want. Pace yourself. Okay, you know what to expect now. It's walk out push-ups again, 60 seconds. So slow the tempo down if you need to. If you need to push it up, you're welcome to as well. At home, the most important part of this is when you're doing your push-ups, make sure now you take it out of comfort zones. You're not going to develop in a comfort zone. You've got to keep testing yourself. You now know what to expect. Right. You two, you've got 15 seconds left. Walk out push-ups for 60 seconds to start. So let's come back down to those mats. All right, at home, let's get ready. In five, four, three, two, and one. Slow tempo. Walk into a push-up position. And down you go. Beautiful. All right. It's 60 seconds. A little reminder is based on endurance. When it's shorter sets, they're more explosive. When it's longer, they're more endurance based. We're getting into a muscle endurance. We're forcing you to slow it down if needs be and to get the endurance. We're increasing your fitness in those muscles that range. It's a 60 second exercise, so make sure that when you're doing the push up, you're not sagging through your hips. You tuck it as other as you can to more of a strict push up. You drive those arms to your chest. All right, we have 30 seconds left. Pace yourself. You know what to expect. This is round two. Lovely, you two. Perfect tempo. <laughs> All right, you've got 20 seconds left. Next will be a squat into a squat jump for 30 seconds, which means it's slightly more explosive. You're nearly there, 15 seconds. Keep moving, keep breathing. If you're getting struck at home, put those knees down now. If you can keep them up, please do. Test yourself. Make it count. Dig deep for five. Last one, four, three, and come to the back. Two and one. All right, squat into a squat jump. All right, squat into a squat jump. Are you ready? In three, two, and one. 30 seconds, squat into a squat jump. When you're jumping up, nice, soft landing. Point those toes, gentle. Protect your joints. This is explosive. We get into those muscles. This is at your own tempo. You want to make it as fast as you can. You want to. You want to slow it down. You can't. The most important part is take yourself out that comfort zone. Test yourself. We've got 15 seconds left. We're going to go to a squat hold, calf raise next. That slow progressive is a deep burn. We're getting into those muscles. We're forcing it into burn. You're almost there, you two. In five, four, three, two, and one. Space each other, get into a squat hold, down, and calf raises. In three, two, and one. Just down, small pulses. Just there, just down with the small pulses. Just squeeze it down. They're with you, come. Squeeze it through. It's 30 seconds. Make it count, make it count, all right? It's 30 seconds, and I'm out. That's a coach's prerogative, he's out. All right, it's 30 seconds. From there, we're gonna go into a high plank, face to face, touch you nearly there, two, keep making count. 10 more seconds, dig deep, you two. All right, at home, you've got a friend or a partner. This is the moment you dig deep to get knots. 
Listen to our voices, make it count for yourself. In three, two, and one. Into a push-up position. Touch those hands, do one more round of this, you're nearly there. Down you come, hard plank, off the hand touch for 30 seconds. You will get a rest after this, so make it count. Last 30 seconds, then off you go. Up you go, opposite hands. Only 30 seconds, you will get a 45 second rest next. At home, this is a, a sort of an active rest for you, all right? The two before were quite intense, the legs. As you can see, your legs get more muscle recovery now. It's more ab based, functional to the shoulders. It's 30 seconds. We have 15 seconds left. You'll get a 45 second break off of this. So pace yourself, but keep pushing yourself, all right? Keep testing yourself. You're nearly there in five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. 45 second recovery. Catch your breath now, slow it down. You chat some more if you want, dry your faces. You know what to expect, you got one more round left. All right, this is your last round coming up now this year. You know what to expect now. If you want to push it off, you can. If you want to slow it down, you can too. Okay, at home, one more round. We're getting into muscles. As you can see, expression to this leg start. We start with upper body into two leg base into a, bottom, a top half to finish. Okay, so you can see those resting points for each muscle mechanism. Make sure it counts for yourself. Push for the push-ups if you want to. You're going to have legs off that, which means upper body gets a break to finish top off again. All right, you've done 30 seconds, you've got 15 seconds left. Let's start getting ready. We're going to walk out push-ups again for, for 60 seconds. Okay, so when you're ready, come to your mat. We're going to start in five, four, three, two, and off you go. Slow, progressive walk out push-ups. At home, it's 60 seconds, don't forget, which means it's endurance. If you manage to get a situation where you're quiet, like a little peck, never hurts anybody, it just motivates you, it's okay. If you're by yourself, that's okay, face the mirror, kiss yourself, it's cool. Self-love never hurts anybody either. It's 60 seconds of self, of, endur of endurance, into those muscles, making it count. Perfect, well done. At home, if you had your knees down for the two, first two sets, test yourself, pop them up, all right? You've got 30 seconds to go, See how it feels. If you get tired, it starts to hurt you, you get sore, you can always come back with those knees down and carry them moving forward. The most important part is the reps. You get those good reps in. I'd rather you have 20 good reps instead of 30 bad reps. So let's make it count. All right, you've got 15 seconds left, you two. Brilliant. Next will be a squat into a squat jump for 30 seconds. Lovely. Well done. We almost did it. Josh is like, oh, we almost there. You've got 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. You're going to have one more rep each. One more rep each for five, four, three, Two and one. Up you come, come to the back, we're going to do a squat into a squat jump. Slow tempo, in your own pace, squat into a squat jump in three, two, and one. At home, 30 seconds. It's a shorter time now, you know what to expect. On that jump, a beautiful little pop, slow tempo. I mean, Josh is a big boy, he's controlling his weight quite well. I can actually feel the vibration. That's beautiful. The most important part is when you're landing, soft tempo, protect those joints. I don't want you snapping your feet down, you will hurt those joints. And this is I want to protect you from doing that. Our role is to, to guide you in that recognition. When you do anything, it's done properly. All right, so you've got five seconds. Next to your squats, hold facing each other in three, two, and one. Turn and face each other, in those hands. I know this is tough, all right? Find a space yourself, make it comfortable. In three, two, and one. Down you go. It's the last one that you come. It's got to get out you for this one. Oh, there we go. Yes. All right, we make it count. It's 30 seconds. Squeeze it through. Come on, get into those range. Beautiful deep squat. Make it count. At home, it's 30 seconds. You can do this. Let's make it count together. Coaches out. 15 seconds left. You will get a high plank next. High plank next in 10 more seconds. Push yourself. Dig deep. Come on, you're nearly there. For five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, you two. Down to the mat. High plank. Push up position. You're going to touch with opposite hands again. All right? And you're going to rest. Workout one is done. All right, just come down. This is the last 30 seconds in three, two, and one. Off you go. At home, this is where you dig deep. If you buy yourself, this is that self-motivation. So you look at the screen, you go, my trade partner's with me. You make sure you make it count. If you're with a partner or a friend, you decide to bounce with each other, talk, communicate, make it fun. Enjoy yourself. Take your mind away from the work. A lot of things to make sure you feel present and listen to what your body is doing. You have 15 seconds left. You're nearly there. You're nearly there. All right, at home, make it count. You've got 10 more seconds. You're going to get a 45 second rest soon. Dig deep for five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work, you two. Josh Wilcox, yes, great work. That's a 45 second, sweat those bullets, make it count. 45 second recovery. Workout two is going to be a single leg deadlift, which means you're going to start here. Just a nice, beautiful stretch towards each other and come back, okay? So you're going to do 30 seconds one leg, then 30 seconds the other leg. For now, have some water. You've got 30 seconds left to recover. This is where those 45 second breaks count. 
This is when you quickly win a battle with your oxygen, get some water in, hydrate. We don't want you getting uh, dehydrated later. So you can't react towards your session. The, the most important part is controlling your heart rate, catching breath, quickly win that battle. All right. When you get stuck, find your why. Hold your motivational points. Remember those reasons to keep you going as to why it is. In this case, you've got a friend or a partner. You buy yourself with your own personal motivational points you're going to hold on to. All right, you two single leg dealers facing each other. So what you're going to do is this. Okay, you're going to work 30 seconds per leg in five, four, three, two, and one. Off you go. Long leg up, slow stretch there and back. Beautiful. Work one leg at a time. It's 30 seconds at a time. At home, if you haven't got a partner or a friend, beautiful long full stretch. Keep that leg straight. You are isolating your hamstring and your glute here, working your balance too. This is great work if you're a runner or anything that's slightly explosive, mountain climbing, whatever you're doing. This is great to make sure you get your balance mechanism right very quickly. Ab activation again. It's all about the abs too. You've got 15 seconds left. We'll then change legs. Keep it up. One leg at a time. At home, you've got 10 more seconds. This tempo is beautiful. In round two, if you want to increase the speed, you can. All right, for five, four, change your legs soon. Three, two, and one. Switch it out, keep going, switch the other leg. Off you go, 30 seconds, beautiful. Next will be skiing, you two. So you're working, this is, you're working towards your holiday. Next will be skiing, think it on the Alps, make sure you're counting, making it work for yourself. Holiday for two, it's 30 seconds of this leg. Let's slow it down. Again, you can see it's all about the balance, air control. First, you activate your abs, belly button towards your spine, slow control. You've got 15 seconds left. Then we're going to ski, make sure those legs are burning properly in 10 more seconds. At home, keep moving, you're nearly there, make it count for five, four, three, two, and one. Skiing, you two, opposites, scares a step back, and three, two, one, off you go. Left to the right first, there we go, and to the left. All right, tandem skiing, there we go, love it, make it count. At home for this explosive. Beautiful little jump to the side, take that leg behind you, touch the ground with the opposite hand if you can. Ab activation, that's your foundation, that's where it keeps your balance upright. If you let your abs go for a second, you're going to struggle to keep this movement fluid. Alright, ab activation, a nice little pop, it's 30 seconds, you've got 15 seconds left. You're going to have wall sits, if you buy yourself at home, you find a wall, you're with a friend or a partner, back to back. You're nearly there, make it count for five, four, three, two, and one. All right, you two, back to back into a wall sit for 30 seconds. Josh is a big boy, so Josh anchor those legs. You got this in three, two, and one. Down you go. At home, it's 30 seconds. Find that wall, there we go and sit. Okay, hold it there. It's 30 seconds. Ab activation, abs, hold it. Weight through your heels, activate those glutes, get into your hamstrings, not just your dominant quads. Fire it up. If you can't get the wall, squeeze it. 30 seconds, next to the crunches. You're almost there, you've got 15 seconds. If I know it's burning, let's make it count. Dig it deeper, 30 seconds. You've got 10 more seconds to go. You'll be in your mat, your mat next for crunch, when the legs get a break. Keep moving for five, four, three, two, and one. Right, you're on your mat, you two. You're gonna intertwine those legs. We're gonna do crunch at the top, you're gonna touch hands. At home, if you're crunching alone, that's okay. When you come up, full stretch to the middle, come that down. Full extension to the middle, so crunch a little reach. Okay, twine your legs, you are ready for 30 seconds in three, two, one, off you go. Down, at the top, please touch. All right, so there we go, it's 30 seconds. This is ab activation, we're getting to a lot of things, but the most important part is your foundation. We've always said Movement Empire, foundation is where you build your home. Without a strong foundation, you have nothing. Your roll to your squats, your ladders won't be strong, there's no point in training. You need to have a strong foundation. All right, so you've got 15 seconds left, you two brilliant. Keep up at home, you will get a rest after for 45 seconds. And you're gonna get a rest soon, you're nearly there. Dig deep, you two, for five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work. 45 second rest, well done, great work. 45 second rest. This is the moment you take some time to yourself, have some water, hydrate. As I said, win that battle with your oxygen intake, make sure you catch deep breaths. Four or five quick intakes of oxygen, slow the heart rate down, catch your breath, have some water. The first 15 seconds are very important to slow the heart rate down. All right, slow it down, catch your breath. You have two more rounds, you know what to expect now. I'm hoping in round two you'll elevate a little bit, make it a little harder. If you can't, that's okay. As long as you're testing yourself. Okay, you two, you got 15 seconds left. We're gonna start with a single leg deadlift again. It's on your mat facing each other, all right? 10 more seconds, I know it's tough, find something that works for you at home. Let's make it count, this is round two, round two in five, four, three, two, and one. Off you go. 
30 seconds per leg. There we go. Slow control. Most important part here is you're pulling your belly button towards your spine, you activate your abs, and then doing a full reach to that front leg. We're working into your hamstrings, working into your glutes, we're forcing you to balance yourself out. Hip flex, there's a lot going on here. All right, there's a lot of muscles working. It's a slow it down. Do not rush this. This is an exercise you can rush through. This is one you slow it down. This is very, very important for form. Form here is the most important part. This is not heart rate based. All right, so you're going to change legs in five, four, three, two, and one. Switch it out. 30 seconds out of leg. After this, we're going to skiing. You're back in holiday. I know it's tough right now. Let's take the mind away from it. You're in the slopes. You're skiing. It's going to be beautiful. We're nearly there. You've got 15 seconds to go. Lovely slow control. Abs tight at home. Breathe. Breathe. Don't hold your breath. Make sure you're breathing. Deep breaths in. Slow breaths out. Win the oxygen battle. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Come to the back. You're going to start with skiing. You're going to ski to the right first. And three, two, and one. We'll figure Nice little pop for those skis. You want to make it a little bit bigger now, you can. If you want to keep the range nice and tight, you can as well. The most important part is you're popping, just leaving the ground. You come in nice and controlled. You add the tight, you're touching the ground in front of you. Opposite hand is multifaceted. A lot of muscles working. You go wall sits next. Then your legs will get a break. It'll be those crunches. You're nearly there. Keep moving, keep breathing for five, four, three, two, and one. Onto your mat crunches and entwine those legs. Beautiful work. This is your last 30 seconds crunches. I will sit. Thank you for reminding me. Wall sits. Three, two, and one. Done. You go 30 seconds. Wall sits. I'm watching Josh's legs. I go like, I didn't give you a wall sit, to be honest. But it's 30 seconds. And next to be those crunches. At home, just hold it. All right. Like I said, if you've got a partner, you've got a friend, you want to make it engaged, you want to make it fun, you want to take your mind away from the work ahead, you do that. Make it count. Make it count in the way best suitable for you to get through this. All right, you've got 10 more seconds, 10 more seconds, dig deep. I know it's hard, you've got crunches next, you're almost there for five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely work with you. On your mat, let's entwine those legs. We have crunches for 30 seconds at home. If you're by yourself, anchor those feet, step through, squeeze the middle. A little bit of reach, just make it count. Entwine those legs, there's 30 seconds, and three, two, one, or three. All these crunches, but please, you're pulling through your abs. You're not pulling through your neck. You're not holding onto your head and yanking through your head. It's ab activation first. We're working your abs. That's what's called a crunch, not a header. All right, so make sure you put into those abs. It's 30 seconds. You've got 15 seconds left. There we go. Slow control tempo. You two, it's beautiful. At home, 10 more seconds. Keep moving, keep breathing. Pull through those abs. Whatever you do, don't stop getting tired and pull through your head. No bad form for five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work. Catch your breath, you two. It's 45 seconds rest. Have some water if you want. Love that. Ladies first. Thank you, Josh. Have some water. Wipe your face. Slow it down if you want. We have a 45 second break at home. Four or five quick, deep, long breaths. Slow the heart rate down. Win that battle. Have some water. Hydrate. You've got 45 seconds to catch your breath. The fitter you are, the quicker your recovery is going to be. So nice little feeling point for yourself. Those little intervals we play with, 30 seconds, 45, 60 seconds, that's just gauging your fitness. We're just testing your interval training. That's all we do. We spark you and you quickly recover. That's why the time differences change up. Okay. So you've got 45 seconds to quickly catch your breath. Slow it down. Early on. 10, 15 seconds. I promise you, three or four big breaths, slow the heart rate down right away. All right. Lovely, you too. <laughs> you've got 15 seconds left. All right. Last round of this is make it count. This is the last round. 10 more seconds. Single leg deadlifts to start, 30 seconds per leg. This is your last round in five, four, get ready at home, three, two, and one. Single leg deadlifts, off you go, 30 seconds per leg, slow control. This movement, I'm gonna remind you, is not a race. This is a slow, progressive movement. It's requiring balance, ab activation, a lot of muscles going on. We're working 30 seconds per leg for a reason. We're not out and those legs, we want some endurance to that muscle group. You've got 13 seconds to go, slow control, tempo, find out where your balance point is, gravity, sensing yourself, squeeze it through. All right, in five, you're gonna change legs, three, two, and one. Stretch transition, other leg, 30 seconds per leg, off you go. Lovely, slow control, beautiful. Off this home, we're skiing, all right? So you're back in the Alps, back in the slopes, you're taking yourself skiing, you need to bouncing side to side, that you can do with a friend, with a partner, all by yourself. All right, so 15 more seconds. We're gonna do skiing next at home. I love this tempo, keep moving, 10 more seconds. You're nearly there, let's make it count. Skiing next in five, four, three, two, and one. All right, you two come back to the slopes. We're going skiing in three, 
two and right, off you go. Ski, 30 seconds, just make a count. Then it'll be more sets for the last time. You're gonna have Josh's weight against your back. All right, slow control. If you wanna bounce it bigger at home, you can. Love it. Push up, take it out your comfort zones. That is where you grow. That is where you develop. Never in a comfort zone. You've got eight more seconds. We're gonna have wall sits for the last time in five, four, three, two, and one. Love you too. All right, back to back. Last round of wall sits. Let's make it count in three, two, and one. Wall sits. Such a simple exercise, yet it burns so much. Back straight, abs tight, leading against the wall, anchor up, weight through your heels, activate your glutes, activate your hamstrings. Don't allow those quads to be dominant. You want a lot going on. It's 30 seconds. You're gonna finish with crunches and a 45 second break. This is tough, yes, but think of almost an active rest, okay? Because you're not jumping, you're not bouncing, your heart rate's slowing down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. On the mat, last round of crunches, you two, then you will get a 45 second break as entwine those legs. If you're at home by yourself, don't forget you to crunch through. Squeeze as far through as you can. Three, two, one. Off you go. It's the last round of 30 seconds of crunches. You're going to get a 45 second rest off this, and then workout two is done. Fantastic work. You are pushing yourself the entire time. Most important part of this journey is to make sure that when you push yourself, it's out of comfort zones, out of your personal comfort zones. You can't really test yourself, because that is where you grow, and that is where you develop. All right, you two, you're almost there. You've got 10 more seconds. You're going to get a rest for 45 seconds. Are you both glad to hear that? All right, for five, four, three, two, and one. All right, at home, 45 second rest. Catch your breath, slow it down. Question. Yes. You start feeling pain in the lower back. Yes. Okay, if you start feeling pain through the lower back, I'll then adjust your form on the corrector point, depending on which exercise you're doing. If you're doing a windshield up with them, you arch up, you flap it back into the ground. If you're doing a crunch, you pull your belly button, and smaller range movements, smaller crunches. All right, so you're back hurting. Is it starting to tighten up? Okay, we'll talk you through. Okay, so we're gonna do dips. You're gonna dip off the chair, you're gonna dip off Josh's legs, all right, at home. Don't forget the dip, activate, 90 degrees, your back comes nice and close to the chair. Within an inch, all right, you get into those triceps. Okay, this is a 30 second exercise. We're then going to Bulgarian split squats. All right, let's get ready. Okay, so Josh, you're on the bench, you'll be on his knees. We're going to start in five, four, three, two, and one. Off you go. At home, it's 30 seconds. All that dip, as you can see, just a nice and close to Josh. There we go, you're driving it through. Beautiful. This is 30 seconds. Ab activation, we get into your triceps. As you can see, Josh swings his weight directly to the chair, which means the chair is not going to follow, which is perfect, as is Jess. We're getting to those triceps, ab activation, base chest as well. Right, you've got 15 seconds left. We're in a Bulgarian split squat next, which means we'll get another chair out here for Jess. Keep moving, keep breathing. You're nearly there. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, up you come. Just bring this chair up to there. All right, Bulgarian split squats facing each other. One leg on, one leg off. Hold those hands, get in position. And home, this is 30 seconds per leg. All right. Okay, hang on a second, just make this turn here. There we go, it's nice and comfortable. Okay, three, two, and one. Off you go. It's 30 seconds per leg. Slow control, if you have a friend or a partner, this is a great way to engage them, make it count. It's working to that front leg. We're getting that front leg to burn. Make sure your weight is through your heel, not through your toe. All right, you've got 20 seconds to go. We're then going to change legs. It'll be 30 seconds for the other leg. We're then going to send the kangaroos. It's an explosive move. So control your oxygen here. Slow the heart rate down. But the explosive worker is going to be coming around the corner. All right, in five, you're going to change legs. Three, two, and one. Off you go. Transition, other leg. Change it up. Straight into it. One leg up, one leg off. 30 seconds. A little further behind. There we go. In three, two, one. Off you go. 30 seconds. This is the 30 seconds per leg now. Next will be kangaroos, which is like a squat jump. So if you touch the ground in front of you and you pop up. Touch and pop up. Right, that's a kangaroo. 30 seconds per leg, you have 15 seconds left here too. 15 seconds left. You're going to have kangaroos next, which is explosive. And then windshield wipers, which is abs. So the legs will get a break. Right, those legs will get a break. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, you two face the front, kangaroos, touch and pop up. All right, touch and leave it there for now. Touch the ground and pop. Off you go. Three, two, 
one kangaroos at home, 30 seconds. That's explosive, your own tempo, slow it down. If your back's not your hurts, well, did you squat pulses for me? All right, so just squat pulses, just yeah, don't jump. You still keep jumping, Jess. At home, if you're back, or you're being tension anywhere, you slow it down, all you need to do is small pulses. All right, small pulses, just like that, no jumping. There we go. You've got 10 more seconds, and then it'll be wind chill wipers in five, four, three, two, and one. On your back, there we go. Head to head, face each other, hold those hands. All right, Josh, I'm gonna talk you through where your feet go for windshield wiper. I would make it more 45 degrees. Yours will go all the way up. All right, so windshield wipers, hold those hands. In three, two, and one, off you go. Keep your head up, support your back like that. There we go, how does that feel? Okay, yeah. that's right, yeah, side to side, small rotation for you, you can do side like that as well. At home, legs straight if you can, small rotations through, get into those windshield wipers. All right, you get into those obliques, get into your abs, back. Flat, make it count, all right. 30 seconds of this, you're gonna get a rest here. You've got 10 more seconds, you're gonna get a rest. Keep it down, slow it down, breathe this foundation for five, four, three, two, and one. Let's catch your breath, 45 seconds. Great work, you two, we're gonna throw it dips. Let's leave everything there, but you're gonna need it again just now. We'll throw it dips in the chair, but for now it's 45 second rest. Slow it down, catch your breath. Just line your back, give yourself 30 seconds at the back settle. All right, we have 45 seconds. Let's slow it down. You've got 35 seconds left to rest. If you need some water now, control your breathing. Let's slow it down. All right, you've got 30 seconds to go. Slow it down, catch your breath, have some water. Hydrate is important for the journey. You want to make sure you don't want to cramp or seize in your session or dehydrated. It's counterproductive. Let's get the recovery. You've got 15 seconds left. We'll start with dips again. Joshua on the chair, chairs on his knees. All right, let's get ready. Eight more seconds on, make sure it counts. You've got dips to start for 30 seconds in five, four, three, two, and one. Off you go. It's those dips. For a dip, it's tricep base. You will get involved in the base of the chest as it was primarily for triceps and back activation. Keep them nice and tight, back straight. Get that back beautiful and close to the bench. Think about an inch close to the bench. There and there about. Straight down to your triceps, weight through the bench, not away from you. Make sure your weight goes down towards the ground. We have 15 seconds left. Next to me, Bulgarian split squats. You have your chairs. Just great work. Keep it up, you two, nearly there. Slow down if you need to, but keep moving forward. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Into those Bulgarian split squats. All right. So one leg on, one leg off. Face each other. 30 seconds per leg. Up you go. For you, back straight. Okay. In three, two, and one. At home, if you have any back limitations, or you're tightening up easily, the exercise like it's the most important part to slow it down, keep your back straight, activate your abs, pull the belly button towards your spine, support your posture. All right, support that posture. Do not let your back take the weight. You've got 15 more seconds, you two, beautiful tempo. You're nearly there at home, slow, controlled tempo. Don't race. All right, weight through your heel, get into those hamstrings and those glutes, activate, don't let the dominant quad take over. You're gonna change legs in three, two, and one, switch it out, transition nice and smooth. 30 seconds for the next leg, it's an easy transition. There we go, 30 seconds per leg in three, two, and one, off you go. For this, make sure your front leg again, the weight is to your heel. You wanna engage your hamstring and your glutes, not just the quad, abs tight, back straight. It's 30 seconds per leg, next we have kangaroos. It's explosive, Josh, for you there, you're gonna pulse. Jess, you're gonna jump for your man as well, you're gonna make it count for both. You're gonna rest in five, Four, kangaroos, next three, two, and one. Turn and face the front, you two, your kangaroos, and three, two, one, off you go. So Josh, you just touch the ground, and you just stay down there. Touch and up, there we go. All right, there we go. It's 30 seconds, you have two options. You have the explosive kangaroo. If you're tightening up like Josh, is to your back, smaller movements, pulse through that range, force those legs to burn. All right, we're getting to those legs, we're making them count, we're making them explosive. You've got 15 seconds left, you have windshield wipers, and then a rest. So from here, the legs get a break, air activation, and then we get a rest. So you're gonna do windshield wipers in five, four, you're nearly there, three, two, and one. On the mat, you two, beautiful work. Head to head, just entwine those hands. Josh, head about your head, shoulders off the ground, flatten that back into the bench, all right, into the floor. You're gonna do windshield wipers in three, two, and one, off you go, rotate through. There we go, gentle movements. Okay, so you can see we've gone shallow here. Joshy's back is tight, all right, so he's laying his abs to move the work. He's elevated his head to flatten it back into the ground. You do not want an arch. You start to arch, there's a lot of tension, a lot of strength at lower back, which is what you don't want. 
This is 30 seconds of work. If you want to straighten your legs and rotate side to like a windshield wiper, you can. Bend range, you're a slightly shallow range, never hurts anybody, it just counts for good reps. Right, you're gonna get a rest soon in five, four, three, two, and one. Catch your breath, well done. 45 seconds rest. Slow it down, you go one more round of this, you know what to expect. Let's slow it down, you know where the sticky points are, you know what your legs feel like, you know the explosive kangaroos make them burn. If you are feeling tension in your lower back, or tension anywhere really, take away that explosive movement, slow it down, touch the ground again. In other words, you've got two options. You've got dress, which is up into a beautiful explosive movement. If your back is hurting, just down, touch, and up you come. All right, two options there to make you cater yourself, to get you to the work. It's about yourself. So dig deep, make it count. All right. 15 more seconds, you got one more round left, dips to start. You know the muscle's been worked, you know where those resting points are. All right, you two, let's get ready. Dips to start, you got five more seconds. Okay, at home, let's get ready. Dips in three, two, and one. Off you go, it's 30 seconds of dips, 30 seconds Bulgarian split squats per leg. Kangaroos for 30 seconds, wind chill up for 30 seconds, there's the work, and a 45 second break, let's make it count. You have got 15 seconds to go. 15 seconds to go in the last round of dips. 10 more seconds, beautiful, you two at home, make it count, get those triceps, feel that burn for five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, all right, Bulgarian split squats, turn and face each other, one leg on, one leg off. 30 seconds per leg. At home, let's get ready. It's the last round of this. Let's make it count in three, two, and one. Slow, controlled tempo. Get into that front leg. When you're feeling tired, the most important part is slow it down if needs be. Get into those good reps. Feel where the weight distribution goes. Am I putting my weight through my heels? Yes, I am. Am I engaging my hands with my glutes? Yes, I am. Is my weight through my toes? Yes, it is. It shouldn't be there. So check yourself, but slow it down. Make sure the correct form. That's bike important. You've got 10 more seconds left, we change legs. Then you've got one leg left, and we change it up. In five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful transition. Last 30 seconds of exercise, last 30 seconds, the other leg. Let's make a count, you're nearly there. In three, two, and one. Off you go. 30 seconds, this is your last time doing a Bulgarian split squat today. Make it count, slow it down. Josh had a small celebration. I don't know if you saw it, it's missing, I'll be covering it. But it's 30 seconds, you're going to get a break off this with from this to kangaroos. Josh, you will pulse. Jess, you will pop. Make it count. You got 10 more seconds, you're nearly there. Five, four, three, two, and one. So it's kangaroos in three, two, one, off you go. 30 seconds, the last 30 seconds, they go wind chill wipers, then a break. Workout three is done, how cool is that? Let's make it kind, dig deep. This is your last time doing kangaroos for the day. Josh, I'm happy with that, that's perfect range. Jets is perfect as well. You nearly there, you got 10 more seconds, then we into the wind chill wipers on your back. In five, four, three, two, and one. On the mat, you two, last round of wind chill wipers. Josh, please remember to elevate your head, shoulders off the ground, support that back into the mat. Jess, what you're doing is perfect. You want to straighten those legs, you can. At home, the last 30 seconds, you get a rest in for 45 seconds. Off you go. 30 seconds, and we're going to rest. Make it count, you two. It's 30 seconds. Please remember for anything, better, when you're putting your back in your arch, you're putting a lot of tension to the lower back. So anything like this, elevate the head and shoulders, flatten your back and breathe and tighten it up. It's 30 seconds of work. You have 15 seconds left. You're going to get a 45 second break left and then your core foundation, where we build our house. Let's make it count. You're nearly there for five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely, you two. 45 second rest. Then it's gonna be our core movement now. We'll start with a plank. You'll bring your elbows. You'll bring a high position on his back. It's 60 seconds of work. You've got three rounds, bicycle crunches and crossovers. Lovely little air burn, all right? Anything for a plank is a nice hub. This really into a foundation work, deep spine work. There, that is your posture corrective work. Then it'll be bicep crunches and crossovers, which is more six pack based for your external muscles. All right, you got 15 seconds left here too. So Josh, you'll be on your elbows. You'll be on his back in a high push up position. All right, so Josh, you can just go through the middle of the mat. No problem for me. And you'll slide back to the bicep crunches. All right. So in five seconds, you'll be facing that way. All right. Four, three, two. And one on your elbows, and on you go. It's 60 seconds, pop it up, pop it up. So for the elbow plank, if you are with a friend or a partner, you can change round two if you want, it really doesn't matter. 
elevate those legs a little bit further away from you. There we go into push up position. That's perfect. So where you are on the person's back, make sure you're in a high push up position. All right. Back straight, your weight is down through the mat. The person on the bottom is feeling the person's weight on top as well, so it's tough. So what I will do is I'll tell Josh halfway to put his knees down to still support that weight. Josh put his knees down, stay there as you are. That is still an active plank. It's a step back, yes, allowing yourself some time to rest if required. You're still planking, just stepping back slightly. Josh popped up big for the last 20 seconds, and stay where you are. 20 seconds left, we're gonna change around your bicycle crunches. All right, perfect work, you two, beautiful work. At home, you've got 10 more seconds, make it count, the core work is where everything counts for everything you do in a session. In five, four, three, two, and one. All right, beautiful. On your back, Josh, on your back too, bicycle crunches, so foot to foot. You're gonna do tandem work, and if you buy yourself the normal bicycle crunches, you're gonna squeeze those obliques in your ab foundation work. It's 30 seconds in three, two, and one, off you go. So you still gonna work those hands and legs together. There we go, beautiful. This is 30 seconds of work, lie down and rotate through. There we go, it's 30 seconds bicycle crunches. There we go, at home, if you buy yourself like this, you can do it, Josh, I don't mind supporting your back like that, just move the legs, Jeff, what you're doing is perfect. Office will be crossovers, you're gonna pop those legs. Next one, you can do crossovers like this for 30 seconds. Josh, make sure your knees and shoulders are your head and shoulders are off the mat. All right, at home, get ready for five, four, three, Two and one. Crossovers on your back, legs six inches off the ground, just cross those feet. 30 seconds of work, stay as you are, this way, long legs. Oh, 30 seconds at home, crossovers, off you go. 30 seconds, just do this. Support your back, beautiful, that's work. Perfect, happy. At home, if you're having back tension, please don't forget, lift the head, lift the shoulders off the ground, support that back, make sure it's flat. Tight of the abs, it's just last, it's easy, you got 15 seconds left, you're gonna get a 45 second rest next. You got a guy like Josh hitting your feet, that's not lacking, you can pass it back and do it there and as well. 10 more seconds, make it work, you're nearly getting your 45 second break soon in five, four, three, two, and catch your breath. Beautiful, you two. That's 45 seconds of work, just lovely work. That's round one, you got two rounds left. I did say you got two rounds left. We're gonna get into those abs, you're gonna make it count. Right, this is your core work. After these last two rounds, your cool down. You put the work in. So you know exactly where it's coming in. All right. You two, you've got 20 seconds to go. We're going to start with a plank again. All right. Plank on your elbows, plank on your back. On his back with your hands. Let's get ready. At home, 10 more seconds. You now know what to expect. If round one falls frantic with your friend or your partner, you now know what expected to do. Let's get into it nice and early on your back. Plank position, you two. All right. Okay. In three, two, and one, pop it up. This is 60 seconds again. It's in Juris. I know a plank in six seconds feels incredibly long. Je uh, Joshy, hop it up, put your knees down again, so it feels like at home. All right, that knee down, just a reminder of your little prompt. If your knees come down, it's okay. You're not failing. You're taking a lateral step to step forward again. All right, you're just knowing those resting points. Those sticky points where you struggle, that's the point where you're gonna slowly make them longer and longer. Day feeling today, 35 seconds next week. Josh, knees down for a second, stay where you are, like that. There's a resting point. You're still working, you're just stepping back to catch your breath for a moment. All right, pop it up for the last 20 seconds, off you go. There we go, squeeze and hold it, beautiful. Okay, if you want to shift your weights up and get too hard, just shift it forward or shift it up as well. You can, there we go, this is the resting point for you, and you go back down again. At home, you've got 10 more seconds, 10 more seconds, we have bicycle crunches next. Your second last round of them, know what to expect. Five, four, three, Two and one. Beautiful, you two. On your mats, pass your crunch, get in position quickly, get those feet together. This is your second last round of them. You know what to expect at home if you're by yourself, that's okay. Begin those bicycles, elbows to knees, opposites, make it count for 30 seconds in three, two, one. Off you go, bicycle crunch, if you're in tandem like this, here we go. What Jess is doing is perfect, your back is sore like Josh, it's okay. Smaller movements like this, you still get your flex, you still get your abs, you're just in a controlled manner. Again, it's not a failure. It's just knowing what your body can do and knowing where to build on, all right? So don't take the failure, keep pushing yourself. Keep pushing, you will get stronger, you are getting stronger. You've got 10 more seconds left, we've got the last round of crossovers for that break again, and your last round, you're nearly there. Five, four, three, two, and one. You two pop the seat side to side, crossovers, last 30 seconds, you're gonna get a 45 second rest soon in three, two, and one, lift the head and shoulders, make it count, support yourself, pop it up, and off you go. There we go, beautiful, happy that. This is 30 seconds, you're gonna get a 45 second rest soon. 45 second rest around the corner, if you need to rest like that, Jess, it's perfect. Pop up again and go. 
take those little moments yourself. You have to put it down. But today, if you're doing it at 20 seconds, next week it's 25 seconds, next week it's 45. You know, before you're not going to feel that anymore. So take those moments to yourselves. All right. You two, you've got 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. You're going to get a 45 second rest soon. You nailed it. Let's make it count in five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Get your rest. 45 seconds. You have one more round left. One more round. Jet at home, you've got one round left. Dig deep, make it count. If you buy yourself, well done. This was a tough session. If you're with a friend, well done. I hope you pushed out that you motivate each other. I hope you really dug deep with this one. It's a session you could really test yourself on. You've got 30 seconds to go. Catch your breath, slow it down. You go one more round, throwing the plank, bust your crunches, the last round of crossovers, and the work is done. You get a cool down. And that is we say yourself, well done. All right, let's get ready, you two. You have got 15 more seconds. The last round. So proud of you two, been a brilliant session. I know this is hard, I know it's tough at home. This is the moment you, you gotta keep pushing yourself. All right, all right, you two. Last plank of the day. Josh, you get ready on those elbows. Jess, last one for a minute, well done. Fantastic work in three, two, and one. Up you go. Josh, if you need those knees down, just shake me just now. If you need down, if you're good, you go for the full 60, good, good. All right, so six seconds of work is a generous work for you to hold there. Josh, you at 30, so I'll give you an option for those knees down or knees up. It'll be your call. At home, if you have back tension and you get a little prompt for those knees down, you'll hear it. If you want for those knees down, you can. If you want to test yourself account for the last 30 seconds, do that. It's your journey. Make it count. Really push out those comfort zones. Up you go. You've done 20 seconds. Pull the belly button towards your spine. Make sure your weight is directed to those elbows. Josh, put your knees down. You can now for 10 seconds. If you want to come up, you can as well. You have 30 seconds to go for a plank. Make sure the elbows are under your shoulders. They're at 90 degrees. Your weight distribution is over them, not away from you. You're not piking at all. You pike with sort of dipping through the hips. But if you can, keep it beautiful and flat. You have 15 seconds left. Then the last round of bicycle crunches. Loving YouTube for the last plank. Beautiful work. At home, you're nearly there. You've got eight more seconds. Let's make it count for five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, YouTube. Well done. Last round of bicycle crunches. Josh is shooting me daggers, I love it. As a trainer, it's my absolute privilege taking as the, the look punches, I like to call them. All right, bicycle crunches, face each other for the last round. At home, let's get ready in three, two, and one. Off you go, it is 30 seconds. We have crossovers to finish in a 45 second break. Then the cool down, the work is done. Fantastic work, dig deep, you're nearly at the finish line. You have 15 seconds to go. Then the last round of crossovers in 10 seconds, then a 45 second break. Slow control movement, you're nearly there, make it count. Five, four, three, two, and one. Pop those legs to side to side. Crossovers for the last round, crossovers for the last round. Josh is celebrating in three, two, one. Off you go, crossovers, pop those legs, crisscross it. The last 30 seconds, you're gonna get a 45 second break. And then the cool down. You've dug deep, you've worked hard with your friend, your partner, or by yourself. You've made it count. Well done. You've got 20 seconds to go. You're nearly there. At home, 15 seconds. You're going to get a 45 second rest soon in 10 more seconds. Well done, Jess. Keep going. You've got this. You're nearly there. Josh, you keep going. At home, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work. Catch your breath. As you can see, the sigh of relief in both their faces. 45 seconds left work. That's a break now. You're catching your breath. We have a cool down. You're starting with a pigeon pose. You better stay where you are. A pigeon pose is one leg underneath you. All right, so this one here, just into that front leg. All right, that's going to be a pigeon pose. Okay, you've got, you've got 30 more seconds. Catch your breath, slow it down. I'm not going to rush this recovery in between the cool down. It's a vital part of the workout. Pigeon pose first, 30 seconds per leg. All right, let's get ready. You've got 10 more seconds. You're almost there. Get that leg underneath you, start preparing yourself in five, four, three, two, and one. Get underneath you and just lie into that front leg. Perfect, there we go. Beautiful stretch. At home, 30 seconds. Now it's the time to slow it down, catch your breath, celebrate the work you've done. Whether it was with a friend, a partner, a lover, by yourself, whatever it was, congratulate yourself. You were fantastic. This session was a tough one. It really forced you to dig deep. And if you had a friend with you, amazing. If you didn't, Kudos to you, well done, that's fantastic. You're gonna change legs in 10 seconds. When we change legs, slow transition, do not rush it in five, four, three, 
two, and one. Slow transition, switch it out, other leg. Slow transition, 30 seconds per leg. Pop it in, down you go. The next one will be a single leg hammy and calf stretch. So hamstring calf stretch, you're gonna put one leg in front of you, and you're gonna to touch that toe and get your knee as close to your head as possible. Head to knee as possible. All right, you've got 15 seconds left. The next one, you two will be like this. So bend one leg, keep one leg straight, and just touches that front leg. Okay, they will change legs, must say. At home, again, don't forget slow, progressive changes. We're now cooling your body down. There's a lot of tension put through your body already. So don't rush through it. Slow, controlled movements in five, four, Three, two, and one. Sit in your bums, one leg in front of you, one leg bent. Touch the extended leg's toe and just lean to that front leg. So there we go. Just like that, perfect. Lean to that front leg. Again, it's 30 seconds per leg. It's a lovely stretch. There we go, Jess, it's perfect. 30 seconds per leg, we're cooling it down. We're releasing the tension built in your muscles. Injury prevents it. When you get you warm, I personally prefer a bit of a movement-based session to get you warm. When you cool down, slightly more static with the flow. Right, you're cooling muscle down, you put a lot of tension through them. You're going to change legs in 15 seconds. Again, there'll be a slow transition, you two. You've got 10 more seconds, beautiful work. At home, never ever rush the cool down, never rush out here. This is part of your journey. This allows you to prepare for the next session. So injury prevents it, don't forget that. Five, four, three, two, and slow transition. Off you go. Gentle change up, one leg bent, one leg straight. Into that front leg. There we go, beautiful. 30 seconds, hold it there. From here, will be a cobra, so you'll face each other. You'll be flat in the ground, you push top off up into your abs. At home, a cobra is a beautiful stretch. You've worked your foundation so hard today. Everything involved at abs, everything forced you to work that foundation. It is now time and rightly so to cool them down. So we're gonna release the tension in the abs soon. In 15 seconds, you'll change sides. You want your stomach? And pop it up together, okay. 10 more seconds, you're nearly there. Slow, controlled breathing. In five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect, right, face each other, push the position. We're going to go into a uh, cobra. So you're going to stretch your foundation for 30 seconds at home. Let's get ready. It's a 30 second stretch in three, two, and one. Up you go, cobra. Lovely. Hold it there. 30 seconds. <laughs> your back feeling a bit better. Yeah. But really stick that. When you hit those moments in the session, it's important to know where you can and can't go with it. Okay, there's no reason you don't have to stop the session. Just take it down certain movements. And that's where moving in, probably going to offer you those alternatives to keep you moving. All right, you've got 15 seconds left. Next to be a downward dog. So you're going to pop those glutes into the air, get your bum up, and heels to ground. All right, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Pop the bum into the air, get those heels as close to the ground as possible. There we go, beautiful like that. This should be a nice stretch for your back, Joshi. Yeah. Up you go. All right, this is 30 seconds, hold it there. If you want to gently pulse your heels, you can. If you to hold those heels as close to the ground, you can do that too. But a gentle pulse, a nice release of those Achilles up to your calves, through your hands, through the posterior chain. It's a beautiful stretch in a controlled manner. Don't rush it though. Remember, you've built a lot of tension through there. In 10 seconds, doing a child's pose, you just drop up down to the ground, open your hips, extend your arms in front of you. All right, in five, four, three, two, and one. Onto your knees. Arms in front of you, head to ground, just lie down. Child's pose, all right in front of you. All right, there we go. This is a 60 second moment to yourself. This is where you congratulate yourself for the work. You're fantastic today. You tested yourself. There we go, Jess, a touch from the shoulder. You <laughs> dug deep. If you had a partner or a friend, you were having fun together, that's amazing. If you did it by yourself, really well done, Apple. That session was tough. I'm able to dig deep, and I'm sure you made it engaging for yourself. Really, really well done. Great session. You have 30 seconds left here, too. When I start counting out, you gently roll out slowly. At home, a gentle release. We're only getting a head rush. You put a lot of work in. No point now sparking off. You get a bit of blood pressure. You get a bit of a wily head. Slow roll out of it. Release the toes and everything in 10 more seconds. You two will start slowly rolling out. You're nearly there in five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come out of it. Gently roll out. Fantastic work. How do you feel? Okay, no worries. I'm happy with the look. Great work, you too. At home, fantastic work. We are so proud to moving in for you. It's a great session. Couple that train together, whether you're alone with a friend, with a partner. Brilliant work. We are so proud to moving in for We'll see you soon.